Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can install WordPress locally on your computer using XAM. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now, to install WordPress locally, we need software called XAM. So let's download it. Open the browser and search for XAM. This is the one. Click on it. This software is available on Windows, Linux, and as well as OS X, and it has the latest PHP version too. Let me download it for Windows. The download will begin after a few seconds. So the file size is about 146 MB. So it has been downloaded. Show in folder. And let me install it. Double click on it. So you will see this warning. You can simply click OK or go to the start menu and type msconfig. And go to tools. And you can change this UAC setting. Click on launch and drag this to the bottom. Basically, this is done so that it does not interfere with the XAMPP settings. Click OK. 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 Click on Next. Leave this to default. This is the folder location. Choose your language. This installation will take some time. I will close this all. Allow access. All done. I will start the control panel as well and finish. So here is the XAMP control panel. You will also see it in the taskbar. Start Apache. Start Miskel. Allow access. Please note these two must always be started. To access the database, click on Admin. So here is the database. And for WordPress websites, we must have a database. Let's create one. Click on Databases. And create a database name. I will write Let's Learn WordPress. And create. So here is the database. This is currently empty. By the way, if you open the browser and go to localhost, you can see this welcome page. This basically means everything has been installed successfully. For the database, you can simply go to slash phpMyAdmin. And here is the database. Anyway, on this control panel, click on Explore. This is actually where the XAMP was installed. Anyway, go to HT Docs. This is the welcome page file. Delete this all. Now let's install WordPress to our PC. For that, open the browser and search for Download WordPress. This is the official link. Make sure it has .org. And download the latest WordPress version. The file size is about 23 MB. Show in folder. Open the zip file. Open this. So here are all our WordPress files. Let me close this. Now in this htdocs folder, extract all the WordPress files. Control plus up and simply drag it here. Just a reminder, these WordPress files are inside XAMP htdocs folder. 
So it is done. Let me close this. Close the zip file. And close this as well. This is the database. If I go to localhost, you will see this WordPress setup page. This means everything has been done correctly. I will choose English and continue. We will require the database name, username, password, and host. So the database name is the one we created, that is, let's learn WordPress. I will copy the database name. For the username, the default is root. The password is empty. You can leave this to localhost and table prefix. You can change this or leave it to default and submit. Hold done. Run the installation. So now give the username and password and email to sign in to WordPress. And click on install WordPress. Now click on Login. Use the username and password we used earlier. So we are now in our localhost dashboard. You can go to Plugins. Delete the old ones. Or install any plugins. Add new. Let me install Elementor. Install and activate. Basically, you can add any plugins you want. I will skip this for now. So you can install any plugins. Or as well at new themes, go to appearance and themes. You can activate new themes. You can as well at new themes. Or you can upload the theme you have. So here are posts, pages and everything. So this is how you can install WordPress to your computer using XAMPP. To access the database, you can go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin. So our database has all the information. To access the WP dashboard, go to localhost slash WP admin. You can visit the site from here or go to localhost directly. And the final thing, if you exit XAMPP, you can search it XAMPP on the Start menu. And make sure to start Apache and Mispool or else the local host won't work. Anyway, we hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.